This experiment is absolutely, I think, the apex of everything that we've achieved in experimental physics. Giant leap for mankind. It's the experimental physicist's equivalent of landing on the moon in 1969. Without particle physics, you wouldn't have a mobile phone. Because without our understanding of quantum physics, none of the electronics that we enjoy in our daily life would be possible. The second great thing about particle physics is the internet. If we hadn't had CERN, uh, the World Wide Web would never have been invented and I wouldn't be able to buy airplane tickets in website bucket shops. The third great thing about particle physics is the most important of all and that particle physics represents for me, in a poetic way, mankind's attempt to understand the universe. There's nothing so much like a monastery as a particle physics laboratory. Um, people closeted away with few physical comforts, uh, spending hours in contemplation of the divine. This is a crossroads <laughs> in um, man's understanding of nature. We are about to supply the acid test to this thing called the standard model. We're about to find out whether um, the Higgs particle actually exists or not. If we switch the detectors on and we find the Higgs particle, suddenly the standard model takes a huge leap forward. And if it exists, we're in a whole new realm of physics. If it doesn't exist, we're in a whole new realm of physics. We're going to know the most important thing of all, which is what we're actually made of. Big Bang Day on BBC Radio 4.